Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I did these easy neon yellow red bottom nails. So I'm going to be doing the red bottom part the easiest way that I know with nail tips. So I got these nail tips off eBay. I will link them down below in case you're interested in purchasing them. I'm just going to go ahead and apply all the tips to my nails. Once I apply all the tips, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them to the length that I want. Since I chopped off all my real nails and they were really long, I wanted to do extra long nails. So I kind of kept them pretty long. And I'm going to go in with these scissors, which I did switch them out to regular nail clippers because these scissors weren't cutting it. I need some little tiny scissors to do this. But I'm going to make them coffin shape. And once I do that to all of the nails, I go ahead and take a coarse file. A 100-100 is what I'm using. And I just go ahead and file the sides until I'm satisfied with the shape. I do have a slowed down, more in-depth video of how I shape coffin nails from square tips if you are interested I will link it down below but I basically just go back and forth until it's the exact shape that I want and I do not file the tip until after I have applied gel here you see me just blending in the nail tip to the natural nail and buffing away the shine now I'm gonna go in with my primer and a base layer of builder gel. I like to put enough primer to where it looks wet and then I go right in with my builder gel. I do not put any primer on the nail tip. You don't need to. So I'm going to go in with the hard builder gel and just do a base layer. And I always do my thumb first, and then I'll go in on the next four nails, and then I'll do the other hand. So I'm just carefully going in with the base gel. You want to make sure you don't touch the skin, and if you do, you want to clean it up with some type of orange wood stick or what I use is my cuticle pusher. It has a pointy end and it's perfect for scooping the gel out from the skin. Now I'm going to go in with a little bead of gel and just start by filling in the cuticle area. Now with me, I don't have an exact way of doing this. I sometimes will start in the apex area but today I decided to start in the cuticle area and I'm pushing the gel as close to the skin as I can get it without touching it then I flash cured and I'm gonna go ahead and continue just building up the nail tiny bead at a time I find it is a lot easier to get that perfect shape for less filing when you go in with smaller amounts of gel. It does take a little longer, but in the end it does save you time in filing. So as you can see, I'm just going in and gently tapping the gel to move it and it self levels, so that does help. And then again, I flash cure it. Every time you see it change, I am flash curing it so like I said I just work in small little sections at a time and I just fill in the nail where I find it necessary so I'm just gonna continue like I said I am just flash curing in between if your gel is not self-leveling, you can definitely take a larger amount of it. And gels don't usually specify if they are self-leveling or not, at least the gels that I've looked into. 
you just pretty much have to tell when you're using it. If you see it running around a lot, then usually that means it's self-leveling. If it's too runny, you can stick it in the refrigerator for a little while to cool it down or up? <laughs> down. Cool it down and then you'll be able to use it. It'll be a lot thicker. So here I'm going to work on the apex. Again, it's just a lot of repeating the same steps. I am just doing the same exact technique all through the whole nail. I do have um, a few videos of me going more in depth and a little bit slower. If you're interested, I will definitely link them below for you. But I didn't want to make this video too, too long, so you just get what I'm doing. And if you use acrylic, you just go ahead and work the acrylic on top, just exactly the same way you normally would. If at any time you feel your gels running a little too fast, like you see here, I put a lot more than what I was putting, so it was running. I had to turn my nail upside down and then cure it. I went ahead and I filed my nails. I actually did a live stream of me filing this na these nails. I'll link it down below if you're interested in seeing how I file them. But I must warn you, uh, things got a little crazy. We were drinking and yeah, my wife was being crazy in the background. So yeah, if you don't like those kind of videos, mute them and yeah, you can see how I filed my nails. Now I'm going to go in with this white polish because I really want the yellow that I'm going to use to pop and I don't want the red peeking through. So I do two coats of this white polish. I kind of wish I would have went a little thinner with the nails because after the two coats of the white and then the two coats of the yellow, the nails did kind of lose their shape and... Uh, they were a bit thicker than I am used to. Nonetheless, I still love the way they came out. So here I am going in with the yellow. And like I said, I'm going to be doing two coats. I only show one on camera. And this is a really bright neon yellow. But for some reason, it's picking up just like a normal yellow. It's still really pretty. And I just go ahead and I paint my nails. The two coats I cure in between each coat, of course. And then I go ahead and do a top coat onto all the nails, which I do not show on camera, but I did do a top coat. Again, make sure you're cleaning around the edges before curing as well as making sure there's no gel underneath the nails because you do not want to cover up that red. So here I'm going to go in with some holographic gold striping tape and I'm going to just apologize right now because half the time I was not in frame at all. I was fighting with this striping tape, which I normally do. Striping tape is the devil. <laughs> it always gives me so much trouble. So, yes, I'm so sorry that I wasn't in frame, but I still wanted you to see more or less what I was doing. And I'm just going to go ahead and position it. Again, I'm so sorry. I know I'm not even in freaking frame. But you'll see little by little what I'm doing when it does decide to go in frame. I think I was just zoomed in way too much. And it's really hard to get the striping tape straight and where you want it without bringing it so close to your face. I just wanted to have it right in front of me. You know, it's really hard doing things in frame on camera. If you don't know, try it. <laughs> it's hard. 
to stay in frame. So I am just going to keep on uh, fighting with this striping tape until it's exactly how I want it. Sorry, my phone went off and I need to be able to see it. But yeah, now I'm going to go in with some top coat and I'm going to apply one of these little red AB resin rhinestones. It's not like a glass rhinestone. It's just a little cheapy wheel I got off eBay. But they are really, really, really pretty. You can't even tell that they are plastic. They look glass. And they're really, really pretty. And they have such a pretty AB effect to them. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some tiny little rhinestones around the bigger rhinestone. And after that, I did a full cure and then I went in with more top coat on top of all of the nails. And I wanted to really secure um, the rhinestones in. So I did go in for a third layer of top coat on just the middle finger. So this is where I go in again and you want to make sure you get pretty close to the rhinestones but not go over them because they will lose their shine and their dimension. So I'm just being very careful and I want to really secure them rhinestones in there. Here is the final look. I hope you guys like the way they turned out. I didn't even realize until my sister mentioned to me that they look like bell nails, Beauty and the Beast, because of the colors. And after she said that, I'm like, oh, yes, they do. No wonder the color combo was like so familiar to me, but I'm like, I've never seen it before. But yes, I really love how they came out. I love everything about them. They are a little simple but I love them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos and thank you all so, so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. It means the world to me. And I hope you guys are doing well. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.